Hey guys, Assalamu Alaikum, it's me Talha. In this video, we will be modeling Bosch's chapel in Revit, which was designed by Stain Studio. If you want to know more about this project, you can check out the link in the description. Now, before I get started, I would like to let you know about my website, learnrevitonline.com, where you can get my Revit online courses. Now, let's get started. So, here I am in Revit, and as usual, first we want to create some new levels. So, let's go to the south elevation and select this level and create similar. We want to create a new level at 6 feet. So, just select this level and make it 6 feet and go back to level 1. And to create this kind of shapes in Revit, we want to use massing. So, just go to massing and site. First, click this show mass button and then in place mass just click ok now we want to place some points here so select point element and just place a point here and we will just copy this one co to copy first we will copy at 2 feet and then 15 feet and then 15 feet again and then 2 feet and then at 15 feet again and then 15 feet and 2 feet perfect so we have created 8 points here now we want to copy this to this side so select all of this and then co again to copy just copy at 18 feet and then 18 feet again perfect now let's go to 3d now we want to select these two points and then just hold control key to select multiple and select the middle ones and then this corner one and then uh, we want to select this single point here in the middle and then this one and we will select these two and then the middle ones and the corner ones so we have selected these points and now we can go to the front view and just move them to level 3 this place here level 3 now we want to select these two and just move them around 6 feet now we want to move these points as well because when we create a curved roof it will go below this level so um, we don't want to create a roof like that so let's select both of these points and just move them around 15 inches i actually calculated this distance before if you are creating a curved roof for the first time you might want to keep uh, uh, doing the changes to these points until you get a perfect curved roof here anyway let's select these two also and move them around 8 inches which also uh, i calculated earlier perfect so our points are ready and we can now create this plank uh, through these points so to do that first let's go to the right view so we can have a better angle to uh, select these points and just go here and click spline through points and if i orbit around you can see we got this spline going through these points now we want to repeat this with the other points as well just go to the right view select these points and then click spline through points repeat with this as well perfect so once you created these splines we can now turn these splines into a form so to do that just select all of these and just go here and click create form there you go we got this cool looking shape here now we can just assign roof to this form so just click finish mass and just ignore this and go to massing and site again and select roof and first we want to create an 8 inch roof so click edit type duplicate let's call it 8 inches and then put 8 inches thickness here click ok ok again and just click on this form and then create roof there you go we got this cool looking curved roof here 
now we want to hide this mass so just make a selection like this then filter uncheck roofs the only the mass is checked click ok and right click hide in view elements perfect now let's create the curtain wall so go back to level 1 and select wall and then select curtain wall from this drop down and just draw a rectangle here like so now go to 3d and select these curtain walls and just hover over any of these and then hit tab key to highlight all of these walls then click and then just click here attach and just attach that to the roof perfect now just go to the front view so we can add the doors and the mullions so first we want to add the curtain grids so we can add the door and the mullions so go here select curtain grid and just add that here in the center let's change the visual style to hidden line and then add another one here at seven feet maybe let's select that and just make it seven feet or maybe eight feet now we want to create another curtain grid here so select curtain grid and then just add one here and another one here just select this one make it four it's already four so we want to make this one also four feet and let's add the mullions so select mullion just click here and then we want to add on these sides as well now let's remove this so just hover over this mullion and hit tab key a couple of times to highlight the grid just select that and click here add or remove segments just click and then uh, click here because we want to remove the segment just click delete elements let's repeat the same here as well select the curtain grid by pressing the tab key and then remove the segment delete elements and now we are ready to add a door to this uh, to these panels so first we want to load a door family just go to insert load family and then go to doors and we want to use a curtain wall door here we have it door curtain wall double is open now to add that door here just hover over the edge and hit tab key to highlight this panel and just change the door from here which we have just loaded perfect repeat the same here as well just hover over the edge hit tab key a couple of times select the panel and just select this door curtain wall perfect to make the handles visible we can just change the detail level to fine now we can create the floor so go back to level one go to architecture select floor and then draw a rectangle here just select this and make it six feet now let's draw a line in the center here and use pick lines and give five feet offset on both sides now just split this line so select split and then tr to trim now we want to use pick lines again and give two feet offset here and here as well and then we can give three feet offset on both sides and just use trim and trim these lines trim here as well perfect delete the center line and we can close on this side now let's extend this line until here this one as well and then we can give two feet offset on all these corners and then just use tr and trim and join these lines
perfect let's click finish and go back to 3d so we got something like this and now we can use another floor to create the water so go back to level one and select floor and just use pick lines and hover over this line and hit tab key select all of this and then repeat the same here as well hover over this line is hit tab key to highlight uh, all these lines then click finish and go back to 3d and we want to change the offset of this floor so just select that and change the height offset to minus one foot perfect so we have created this cool looking Boishes Chapel in Revit. So that's it for this video. I hope you have learned something new. So please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my online courses. You can follow the first link in the description. And yeah, see you guys in the next video.